Today's episode of Beautiful Books is a quick review of the occult limited edition of Good Omens by Terry Pratchett and Neil Gaiman. The book is published by Dunn Manifestin and is available through Discworld and via the artist's website at paulkidby.com. It retails at £95. First off, the book is joyfully huge. Here I've put it beside the Discworld hardback library edition for scale. That one's about the size of a decent paperback for reference. And secondly, here's a comparison with the Folio Society edition of Mort by Terry Pratchett. At 23 by 30 centimetres, the pages have almost doubled the area of even the large standard and slipcase definitive illustrated editions. However, despite the large size, it is still comfortably readable. Just. The book comes in a red and black clamshell case, complete with ribbon pull so that you can easily remove it from the box. The case is covered in an imitation snakeskin textured material, with red edges made to look like a book itself. The cover's beautifully foiled and prominently features the Batwing Hourglass design. For those of you who don't know, this design was actually discovered by Terry and Neil during an author's photo shoot when the book was first published in 1919. The shoot took place in Kensal Green Cemetery in London. After the shoot, they specifically requested that the carved bat-winged hourglass you can see above their heads be used as a design motif in the book. The book has metallic red crackling on the cover, and it is sturdily put together with a strong Smithstone binding, slightly more delicate red foiled edges, and a sewn-in black ribbon bookmark. The tip-in title page is also foiled, and each edition is hand-numbered and signed by the artist Paul Kidby. The occult edition is limited to 1655 copies, 1655 being of course the year that Agnes Nutter recorded her nice and accurate prophecies. This adherence to special numbers is followed through with the other limited format editions in this series. The Ineffable edition, which has a fancier box, comes with a separate folio of ephemera and is also signed by Neil Gaiman, is limited to 666 copies. While the ultra-limited Celestial Edition, for which there are only 24 copies made, is somewhat humorously priced at £6,666. Anyway, back to the Occult Edition. There's a double frontispiece featuring framed full-body portraits of Aziraphale and Crowley. The paper is thick and there's no bleed through but it's otherwise fairly standard paper. Each chapter has a separate page title and various additional illustrations and graphics are included as page headings and throughout the book. The apple motif is cleverly used, opening with a snake wrapped around a whole apple, then a small bite's been taken out of it, and by the end of the book only the apple core remains. Chapters open with gold-coloured dropped cap titles. and the text is liberally sprinkled with red back wing and gold angel wing hourglass pictures throughout. The occult edition has 19 colour plates, seven more than were included in the standard illustrated edition, and it includes some really gorgeous double spreads as well as beautifully detailed illustrations to enjoy mulling over. My only quibble would be that some of the illustrations are included out of order. The text of the book was revised by Neil Gaiman and the Pratchett Estate to clear up errors from previous editions, and this edition also makes use of different designed fonts to add to its charm.
Fun fact, the artwork for this illustration of the Mona Lisa by Paul Kidby was actually included in the TV series. You can see it on Crowley's wall in some of the scenes. Overall, I'm really pleased with this edition and I think they've done a really lovely job on it. The book was released in July and I've seen numbers in the wild that are already about halfway through the limitation a month later, so I expect it will not stay in print for too long. I've put links below to where you can buy it, as well as a page on my website which has a few more collectible Good Omens books if you're interested. Thanks for watching and bye till next time!